Hey, what's going on, Pokemon? This is H. Turner Kurt here with my second upload uh, to the channel. I um, want to thank you guys for the criticism I got last match on my quality because I've been able to improve it since then, thanks to you guys. Um, so, and also, a big shout out to Power Butt for walking me through, sitting on my ace card and everything. So, big shout out to him. Um, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the team preview. I'm actually using a Shed Ninja team here. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Shed Ninja, his ability is Wonder Guard. Um, what that does is only super effective moves can hurt him. He has 1 HP, and then obviously, residual damage can hurt him also, be it stat. This, um, entry hazards or weather. Um, so kind of an interesting Pokemon, one of my favorite ones to use overall, um, and also just one of my favorite Pokemon in general. Um, so I wanted to use a team based around that. Now threats on his end, um, Chandelier, just because I don't have very many things to hurt him. Um, the Dragonite, because he can be running a ton of sets. Tarantor's not a threat, but he does have, obviously, Sandstream, which will KO my Shedenja when coming in, so I definitely want to deal with him. Other than that, everything I think I can generally deal with pretty well um, without having too much trouble. But anyway, let's get into the actual match. Um, I do lead off here with my Swamper, just because I don't think he has anything lead-wise that can really hurt me, unless he leads off with his Chandelier, which luckily he doesn't, and I do get a chance to set my Stealth Rocks, um, as his Skarmory sits up Stealth Rocks. I was kind of concerned with him having Taunt, um, but at the end of the day, even if he did, it wouldn't be too big a deal. Um, he does set up a second layer of Stealth Rocks as I go for the Roar. I'm hoping to get a more favorable matchup, but unfortunately I don't, and he actually goes on to the Chandelier that I was worried about him leading with in the first place, so that kind of sucks. Um, I do need to switch out here. I don't think he's going to over-predict this early in the match, so I feel comfortable going out into my Hydro Gion to take the Energy Ball, which he does go for. Um, luckily he didn't go for Hidden Power Fighting. Um, that would have really sucked. I don't think it would have KO'd, um, but definitely would not have been good. So I do um, predict the uh, Tarantar switch in here, and I do go for Focus Blast on the switch, hoping to KO, because I am modest, um, but I miss, which really sucks. Um, he doesn't know, um, he obviously knows, um, he doesn't know what item I have, so I feel safe going for the um, Focus Blast again, um, and luckily it does hit, and because I'm modest, I think that's what allowed me to take him out. I don't think Intimid, um, Max Special Attack would have done it, but luckily I am modest, so that is going to do it. Unfortunately, though, I am already down to about half, which really sucks, because I do need this Hydro Green on the outspeed thing, especially the Starmie on his team. Um, but now that he brings it in, I'm going to go into my Swampert, because that, unless he has Grass Knot, which is really rare, um, this is my best thing to take hits from it, and luckily in the first ring, he goes for Rapid Spin, which is actually, it's going to play an important match, or important, important key in the match right now. <laughs> on this next turn, I don't think he can, he can KO me, so I'm actually going to go for Stealth Rocks and not Earthquake to get damage. Um, reason being, because I think I'm going to leave this Hydro Pump and I will get Stealth Rocks up, I want him to choose between either killing my Swampert or me killing his um, Starmie with him getting rid of Stealth Rocks. So it's really up to him um, what, what he thinks is more important at this point, getting rid of my Swampert or, keeping, or getting rid of Stealth Rocks. And he actually decides to get rid of my Swampert, which is... For me, what what I prefer, just because Dragonite and, and the Chandelier do not appreciate Stealth Rocks one bit, um, so I'm actually kind of glad he did choose to take out Swampert instead of um, getting rid of the rocks. But now I am going to go out into my Hydro Ground because I am Scarfed and I do have U-Turn. I was pretty sure he was going to go out into his Skarmory here, but at the same time, I wanted to keep momentum in the match, so I'm just going to U-Turn out. In hindsight, probably should have just taken out the uh, Skarmory when I had the chance, because it's going to kind of annoy me later on, but at the same time, um, probably a little bit safer just to go into my Heatran here. Um, and the good thing about my Heatran, or not the good thing, but the kind of interesting thing I guess you could say about my Heatran is not a, a too traditional set because it's actually a Sunny Day set. Um, sunny Day Heatran um, worked really well outside of this team. I mean, even on its own, it's a really good set um, because it does counter bulky waters, especially Rotom, very well. But I do go for the Sunny Day here as he goes on the Landorus, and I think he's going to over predict here. Um, well, I'm sorry, I predicted him to over predict, I should say, be more clear on that. Um, and he does actually, he goes for the Stone Edge, which I wasn't a bad play, because if I predicted my Hydro Gion, um, but I do stay and go for Fire Blast, and in the sun, that is going to easily take it out. Um, easy going to take him out, so really happy about that. Um, now he does, I believe, bring in his Darmie again. No, he actually brings in Dragonite, which I wasn't sure why. Um, based on his team, I think he's running a bulky set, and I do go for Hidden Power Ice, which is great, because I do outspeed and I will KO. If it, I, The reason why I'm kind of concerned, or not concerned, I'm confused as to why he brought it in is because obviously he knows I'm running a special attacking set, and he would know I'd outspeed him, so I don't know why he brought him in. Maybe think I'm lacking Hidden Power Ice, but anyway, I'm glad he did. Now he brings in Starmie and I foolishly stay in. Um, I thought because the sun was up I could hopefully live it, but that was just dumb. Um, Life Orb, Stab, um, Base 120 and Super Effective, there, there's no way I'm living that. Um, from that HP at least. So unfortunately I did lose my Heat Ram, but he did do his job in getting rid of the um, Sandstream for Shed Ninja, for Shed Ninja to come in. Um, now I'm going to, I believe, just U-turn out. Probably should have gone for Draco Media here. Uh, just because I've been U-turning constantly, so that was a really easy prediction on his part. Um, definitely should have considered it um, a lot more, um, the Draco Meteor. But now I'm going to Breedlum, kind of as Death Fodder, because this thing, 
I should say, chandelier um, walls my breloom, my breloom completely because all I have is um, facade and focus punch. Um, so <laughs> really, I can't even hit him, unfortunately. So I just go out into my breloom because I think he's either specs or scarfed. And I just want to kind of see what he's going to lock himself into. And it's a hidden power. I'm going to guess it's ice. So I can bring in my for uh, my fortress here pretty safely. This is especially defensive fortress, even if it wasn't in Pyrax, wouldn't be doing very much. Um, but this does this does give me a chance to go for rapid spin, so I can get rid of all the hazards he set up earlier. And so Shedenja can come in um, without dying, <laughs> which is always great. And I actually get the rapid spin KO, which is which is great. That, that I mean, it's very rare, and I actually made the match uh, that much better for me because <laughs> I did get the KO. Uh, but now he brings in the chandelier again. I'm just gonna see what he locks himself into. He actually just goes straight for the heat wave, heat wave not over predicting. Um, good play on his part, because if he went for him power fighting, I could have lived that. Um, but now I do bring in Shedinja, the star of the show, and I actually go for Shadow Sneak. Um, it will KO, and that's actually a very important KO, um, mainly because Hydrogen cannot take out Skarmory and take out that Chandelier with, with the moves I have at least. <laughs> Because I have Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Focus Blast, and U-Turn. Um, no way I could take out both of them without one of them being out. I mean, he, go, he does go for Stealth Rock, and I was kind of confused as to why he didn't just want to take me out. Um, but I did go for the will o -Wisp and miss, and I go for it again. Luckily, I do hit. Um, I do have attacking moves, obviously. Um, I should enter. This is a Swords Dance set with will o -Wisp, um, Shadow Sneak, um, Swords Dance, obviously, <laughs> and an x Um, but... I did go for will o -Wisp just to get some residual damage on him. Now I'm back in the Hydrogeon, and as long as Fire Blast hit, that's going to be a good game for me. Uh, but unfortunately, it misses, um, and he goes for Whirlwind. So that was really surprising. I don't know why he didn't just go for the Brave Bird, um, or Drill Pick. Maybe he didn't have it, but luckily for me, he goes for Whirlwind. That will take out my Shedinja, though, unfortunately. Um, so now it's back to the Hydrogeon for round two against Skarmory. Hopefully I can hit Fo um, Fire Blast and win the game. Um, that'd be great if I could. But anyway, go back out into him. I barely lived the Stealth Rock damage. I do go for the Fire Blast, and it does hit, so that's going to be a good game. Um, Jack, Jack, Jack. Unfortunately, he did not have a uh, YouTube, so I can't. Uh, you guys can't view that. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. If you like the battles, the battle, please check out my channel. That means a lot to me. Um, leave comments down below of what I can do to improve on my battles. That really mean a lot to me as well. Um, I guess that's it for me now, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully. Uh, peace out, guys.